Oh, she know. Look at me talking. She, she know what she's talking about. Yeah. Are you well, sure? This is my beard. Spoon, that's for it. My digestive tract. You supposed you trying to take it in? You trying to drink it, right? You take it. Just just take a, a shot of spoon, like the spoon. All Don't put it in there. You not, you're you're not gonna be able to drink it. I'm gonna drink. Okay, all right. That is nasty. Hell like it's yeah, don't disgusting. stretch it out. You just want to take a it's shot of it. No, I spoon You don't have a spoon for. like a, a, a. We got spoons. Fuck it, nigga. Where's the shot glass? I'll take a shot of this healthy shit, bro. <laughs> this shit is nasty. I'm not, I ain't changed that shit in a that long time. That is nasty. Like, I'd rather take the pill. Like the little, they got like the Like they have the pill, yeah. But those are better, but I'd rather take the pill. That shit is disgusting. It's nasty. It's called black seed oil. Just what do you think about the name? Do it sound like it tastes good? It like it tastes Look good. at it. This is enough? This is like some culture. Yeah. This is enough, right? Yeah. To help you I think it's supposed to just like help you detox. What, I don't know. And it's gonna build your Im- immune system. It's gonna build your immune system, like she said. Nigga, like, that is the most generic shit ever. Get my immune system. Yeah, nigga. I mean, what you that mean? You, you the one bought it? Exactly. No, I, Why you bought it for me and said oh. I see her getting sick a lot. Which I this oh, one of the people on YouTube? Nah, it was the nigga from New Jersey. Who from New Jersey? The nigga, man, the prospect nigga. Man. It does work though. You just have to take it every day. Also, I've heard it helps with my beard. What nigga from New Jersey? Well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a You have to beard. apply it topically. The fuck does that mean? On, on, you beard? on your on your on your, on your beard. So do, it says helps reduce cancer, blood pressure. I don't I have fucking diabetes. Why am I taking this bullshit, man? You could it be pre diabetic. It smells like fruit. Right? <laughs> Yeah, you gonna smell like that shit now, bro. <laughs> Roman. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm on my health journey, back to getting where I need to be. Can I have more water, please. I you gotta stop slamming shit, bro. Let's talk about that. Why do you slam shit? <laughs> what do I slam? Shit? You know what, bro? If you give me another Starlight, I have a problem with um, Starlight uh, and pineapple juice. And pineapple. I have a problem with water. Uh, shit water. Shit water. Yes. Knowing when to. Knowing when to. You just slam shit, bro. Yeah. I have a when, knowing when to problem sometimes. Knowing when to stop. Knowing when to, you know, I, sometimes I have Knowing when to chill out. I, there's, a, there's a fucking word for it, bro. It's um, not balance, but it's a word similar to balance. It's, um, I don't know, bro. I just I just go too fast sometimes. I've been trying to. Yeah, you do go too fast. I just go. I, I try just to tell go. you. Down. You know what? I've never gone slow in my entire life. You always want to go fast? I always go fast, man. <laughs> There's something I want to say that's highly <laughs> insensitive yeah. that I will not say. All right. Right, but maybe later I'll tell you. <laughs> because there's haters watching us right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not I'm not giving them no info, but some shit I want to say to you before you say it. I want to, you want to go fast. Um. So are you an alcoholic at all? No. Are you sure? I, I mean, you know I'm not an alcoholic. Yeah, you're not. I, you, you told me, I mean, bro, I didn't drink for a year and a half. That's true. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Just cold turkey out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. That's true. Are you an alcoholic? Yes. <laughs> I think I think so. For real? I'm not an alcoholic, but I like to drink, like, social, you know? Like, okay. I'm out, no, alcoholic? But I'm always I know. You're the, I, don't, I only smoke when I drink. I <laughs> drink when I smoke type person. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but if, 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 you, if you wake up and you drinking at home, that's alcoholic, right? That's a fucking Okay, I don't alcoholic. have I don't have alcohol in my alcoholic. house. No, I don't really do that. Just because if I no, was no, no. to, it, no, if and you, you called me no, no, sometime no. in the morning, no, 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 and no. you know that, no, 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 no,
that doesn't necessarily make you alcoholic. But if it is a consistent behavior oh, yeah, of yours, yeah. you're yeah. an alcoholic. No, I'm telling you, bro. There's this, um, <laughs> I, you know, there's, no, check this out, right? Go ahead. There's I'm this crown royal. royal. There's the um, maple version. The peach. No, the maple version. Oh, the maple. The you, maple. You, we wake up, have some French toast, some some turkey bacon, and some eggs, and some fun. Some, you know, it's nice. Company. Some maple syrup, cognac. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> some maple syrup. <laughs> it's sunk. It's sunk in now. Great. What other flavors do they have? Because I know they have a lot of flavors. Black. Uh, regular. Peach. Apple. Apple. The nut. Nishar's favorite. Yes. Oh. Is that like? Well, you know, he's not here, and even if he was here, I would say it to his face. That's right. When he orders Crown Royal Apple at, at the spot, <laughs> isn't that kind of, you kind of don't you kind of look at someone like what is this wrong? She with looked down at the zone. Yeah, no, well I, I do. Not. The people be getting. I be seeing they be drinking Crown though. I used to drink Crown Apple all the time. Yeah, that's some like young shit though. He must just you. I can know. I know he really likes it. I mean, it goes down it. smooth though. At the same time, like yeah. the taste is better rather than drinking Hennessy and it's like burning your throat. Did you have an E and J phase? <laughs> Oh, that's like that. Everybody, yeah. when everyone starts drinking, that that's when they drink. That they drink E and J. Is nasty. Disgusting, and I. But I used to little, drink. I used to drink it. My like, little brother used to be off that earth and jerk, man. Wait, I used to be just off four locos, and old English. Let's, I was. I remember old English with, in the bottled form. What was that? Lam, is it La Marita? Yeah, La Marita. La Marita. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about your journey with four loco. Oh, okay. I, I, want, I want to talk about when. When were you introduced to four loco? As soon as I got to college. <laughs> And I was in Barnesville. Mm-hmm. Where's like, that? that? You do not want to know. Fuck? It's just out of boundaries. Like, it's <laughs> just far. <laughs> it's so far that we didn't have anything else to do but but drink for locals and throw kickbacks mm-hmm. in our oh, little room. Kickbacks. kickbacks. Wow. Somebody said, I heard somebody the other day, like, oh, I'm finna go to this kid. I'm like, nigga, a kickback oh, nigga. It's 2022, so nigga. Wrong. We used to do that. I love, nigga. I used to love That's kickbacks. Cute. I used to love kickbacks. It did not look good when it came up in the morning if you like had the the bad stomach. Mm -hmm. You ever like threw up after a four loco? Not after a four loco. I know someone who's threw up after half a four loco. He's watching this and uh, who's an avid watcher of unpredictable and who recently DM me about talking about him throwing up after (laughs) half a four loco. And I, since he's so mad at it, you know what I'm gonna do? Talk about it every single show. I'm gonna talk about the nigga who threw up over half a four loco. (laughs) <laughs> we can talk about some of his other exploits as well. No, I've thrown up after drinking though, for sure. But not a four loco. No, four loco, it'd be green. And how you be, how do you feel? It's like okay. I get me, so mad at myself. No, I actually start praying. Like you never did. You've never done that. Oh like, no, there I was start, take I start telling there you. There was like, one time. I'm not gonna do it again. No, no, no. Like, See, I won't say that because then I'll have to stick to it. But <laughs> well, but I, but I, I will. Do it. You're one of those that will say it. Yeah, and in because, the moment you mean it. Because <laughs> it's like I feel like I just forget to eat. And then when I started drinking, I'm not paying attention, and I just get no. There was drunk. there was a time it was so bad. It, oh, <laughs> oh, it was so. I was literally. I thought I might die, and I was just literally. I was like sweating. I was I like, God, it. Lord, I, I just, I, I deserve it. All right, this, I, oh, do, I knew what I was oh, doing. What I do, and, and you guys, you just do this. No, it was that was <laughs> no. This is the type what of insane is, shit that made me go like, Why would I ever want to? Be involved myself with something yeah, like I, that, I can't even, I, yeah, but that. you don't. It's crazy because when you when you are drinking, you don't feel it. It's like when you go to sleep or wake up and you like, I don't know why it happens like that. That it was one of the worst experiences of my entire life. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Wow. When was that? What? How old were you? I mean, it was some time ago, bro. Um, <laughs> Same. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't recent. Mine was. Mine was definitely not too long ago. Yeah. When was that? What was the, What was the occasion? And what caused you to drink so much? I don't so remember. Much? What happened? What made you say, I'm getting shit-faced tonight? <laughs> I think it was... This <laughs> <laughs> is a white thing really, to say no shit-faced. I really think it was somebody's birthday, and I wasn't paying attention. I went from I went from club to club. I think it was like two different clubs. So. I'm going to, you know what? I'm not going to use any more profanity. From now on. <laughs> on this on this, part, on this show? On this episode. <laughs> on this episode? Yeah, yep. Yeah, we'll see about that. Well, so, you, you're cussing a lot? No. Yeah, I just, you know, I'm trying to work on part of slowing down is thinking about more 
I'm sure it thinking so. about what you say before you say it. Well, that's a given. But what a concept. Yeah. Well, you know what? I do think before I speak. But mm-hmm. sometimes there's so yeah. many thoughts. See, I don't have a problem thinking before I speak. I have a problem with, with finding the right thing, selecting the right thought to say. Does that make sense? Because I think I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, but instead, instead of just okay, let me. What, what what does the inside of your mind look like? Um. You ever I, seen? <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. You. I think I asked y'all this last. Yeah, but go. have y'all watched Bullshit? The show called Bullshit mm-hmm. on Netflix. No. You need. To you asked me. About you need it, to go though. on there. Why? Because the I'm, show. You're saying I'm a bull. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's about like it's a it's a it's a game show and basically oh can, I just saw it I just saw it yeah you know, anybody can go on there you can lie you don't have to say the truth like mm-hmm. it's like a trivia you saw him a liar <laughs> yeah. dang that is crazy <laughs> now I'm just saying you know how to put words here so I feel like you should go on there it's like a million hey, dollars like you uh, you can win anything have you, have you ever said some shit right. Have you ever came up with some bullshit on the spot that was so good you just had to pat yourself on the back? Hell yeah. Oh, my God. I did God. the other night. Oh, my. Let me tell you something. I'd be like, man, nigga, you are good. <laughs> it was good. It was good. And it was funny, too. It was Who was it to, though? That is the craziest question Who was I've it ever to? heard in my entire life. Was it to a, a member of the opposite sex, possibly? What you want? You want a cup? <laughs> you would like a cup? An like apparatus? Yes. I was just gonna drink it and then pour it in there, but you were like heating up. Uh, uh, the guy. Yeah, the guy. You want me to get it? I can get it. No, you no, can. Man, He's sitting right there. Right you guys, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh. Oh, see, yeah, see, he's running from the question. I just asked him. What question? Did if you it was it was a woman that you bullshit. Only women can bring out that level of bullshit in a man. Anyway. You think so? Yeah. We don't dig that deep for something else. Do I dig deep? I don't think I do. How good of a bullshit are you? Mm, not good. Are men easy to deceive? <laughs> you said what? Of course. Why? Because y'all pay attention to the wrong thing <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> what you mean we pay attention to the wrong things? I don't think y'all are like, when y'all talking, I don't think y'all paying attention to everything that's coming out the female's mouth when, while they're talking. Really? Well, like, give us do an you? example. I didn't hear. That. I don't know. I, I, I can't. I can't you think it, like I can't tell it all. Is what I'm saying. You can't tell it all. Me, you can't give up your secret. No. See, I'm trying to get him out of her. I think guys are super easy to deceive. For sure, I'm sure. I think we're the easiest. We're easier to deceive. We're much easier to deceive than y'all. Cause y'all, we gotta like. Okay, let me come. I remember when I was in high school, my girlfriend told me, like. Give me, like, whatever bullshit you're going to give me right now, because I know you're not going to tell me the truth, make it good. Mm. <laughs> right. I just rely on the truth. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you just rely on the truth. But my question I is, know. I think men, I think we're just easy to, sorry. Oh. We're, just, we're just easy to deceive, bro. We're just open and gullible. Or would you say that, Hassan? You're like a puppy. No? What do you mean, you? In a woman's hands. Who? You. What do you mean? In a woman's hands, you're like the dog when the, they scratch in the dog's I mean, belly. the right woman. Yeah. yeah and then at that point, she can tell you anything. What do you mean she can tell me anything? She can deceive you. No. Because you're eating out of the palm of her hand. Absolutely not. Of her pretty little hand. No. No? Do you I mean, believe him? No, I'm serious. I, I mean, I wouldn't know. So. <laughs> no, I mean, at this point, absolutely not. Are you sure? Before, back 100%. then. 100%. Yeah. I mean, maybe younger, but now. Why do you think you can't be deceived by a man? You know how easy it is for a girl to fucking bullshit you? Okay. And, Catfish. And none, of them, none of it's been successful. I mean, it's, hold on. For, for the record, I'm not talking of, it doesn't even have to be a major deception. Uh-huh. But just deception, though. I mean, I, for the most part, I'll play along just for fun. I mean, fuck it. Do you know, uh, this is what's crazy with a man. A man would just be lied to. Well, I mean, do you know that? <laughs> I think I think it's look at her. I find it, I find it amusing somebody trying to get over to me. think that they're gonna outwit me in that regard. Like, let's, I want you to I wanted to see how long you're, it's gonna take for you to figure out. Do Do you think it's easy to outwit a man? Yeah, females do all the time. You know? <laughs> like every day, every day, all day. Well, I convince someone that I'm a uh, supermodel. <laughs> that, because you have you have count as well, I'm saying that's. 
right? Okay. It's BS. It's, yeah, no, no, no. You you BS that girl. What? Or that person, whoever it was. You BS me too. You BS her, you BS well, all of us. a little bit. Because I saw the tattoo. You kind of you kind of told all of us that that was you. Well, that's all right. At the end of the day, it's still all it does is prove what we all know to be true. Which is what? That I could be a superhero. <laughs> Oh my God, man! So, what type of things do you see, girls? Like deception that you see, girls through the guys. I'm bringing. <laughs> you see the way she laughs. There's shit that's in mind. There are specific I'm things that came like, direct. You guys are kind of conniving. Who women? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I, I think almost conniving di- almost diabolical. They are diabolical. Demon like. They some of them are demon. Satanic. Okay. Some of them extremely <laughs> satanic. Just... No, but no, but girls are diabolical. <laughs> Just an evil no <laughs> no, 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 no. What's that? <laughs> evil no black, good. Black magic. Black magic. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like when the females, like, I would say the going out part for me. Like, when they go out mm-hmm. and you don't necessarily know exactly what they do for a living or, mm-hmm. you know, like, y'all go out to eat or whatever. And she, have you seen the way the twins are talking? And they're like, I can order, like, steak if I want to. Mm-hmm. And he has to pay for it, but can she pay for it by herself? No, I ain't seen that. But what you bring that up to say what though? I'm bringing it up to say like a female will basically like act like she has a lot of money, and sometimes half of the time they don't. Mm-hmm. Especially when they go out to eat, they do, that's why they always make the dude pay for it. They order and order it like they I do this all the time type deal. Yeah. That's crazy. You think um, so a woman's a better flexor, you think, than a man? Yeah. Well, yeah, because y'all could go get we dressed can wear, for we nothing. We can get anything. Like, buy, our, all our stuff is cheap. Y'all have to, like... We gotta spend dough. Spend money. What do you think would happen if I walked into the club with a diamond tester and just started going up? The fake diamonds... First of all, somebody's test, gonna fight you. The fake diamonds test, <laughs> test real, though, bro. Oh, yeah. He's the right. moistenized test real, bro. You're right. These niggas is like they'll, they'll, Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's odd. It don't even matter what. He said yes, whatever. <laughs> you think it's maybe moisturized? Is it? Do you have any moisturized, maybe? Potentially? Kinda. If somebody sold me something fake and I just believed them, then I, unfortunately that fake. Must he needs to go on the show. He needs to go <laughs> on the show. But I want to go back to your point. Like, So, girls, especially when they go out, right? Um, How do you feel about women? And how many women do you know? Wow. Okay, that seek one night stands when they go out. How many women do I know that seek one night stands? Yeah, like, do you know anybody that does that? You know, I know people that just want to use people, like. People just want to use people. Yeah, mm-hmm. when, when I, when, I don't know what you mean by one night stand. Like, but I, I'm, it's a group of girls, and I've, I've seen this in different settings. What, just to sleep with somebody? Like, I, we just want to go out and fuck, like, find some niggas to fuck tonight. I don't know about that. You don't know about that, right? It sounds crazy as fuck, right? Yes. Maybe not consciously, no, no, no. It, but subconsciously. No, 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 consciously. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you the group of women that I know, the only women that I really know who do that, who yeah. set out to do that. White women. Fuck no. I thought you were going to say. Fuck no. Um, Africans? No. Black women, black women who are, and it don't just got to be black women, but I'm, I'm, I'm not um, marginalized to a race. Older like women mostly in their thirties who are professionals, like good, the good job having broads. That makes sense. Those are the ones who I've seen in them settings. Like I'm trying to have sex with you tonight, and that'd be pretty much it. Or they they're on a trip somewhere. I'm just trying to. You know what I'm saying? I've seen that, and it's always the same mo. These are like women in their thirties, professionals, good jobs. What is the motivation behind that? I don't know. Maybe number one. Maybe it's just a fantasy or something. I don't know. Maybe it's a fantasy. They they may be single. They may not be single. That's even worse. Um, <laughs> it, it it but it's cool. But I've I, I've seen it so many times that I'm now like I'm almost picking up on a pattern. Like, oh y'all came out to get fucked tonight. That's crazy as hell. Um, and just just to get fucked. Man. Like that's it. Wow. You know what I mean? Um, it's one thing like you said like. So, I, the the girl that comes out to the club to meet a nigga that's finna you know finance a few meals, that's not surprising. 
Like that seems logical. Yeah, you, but that that's new to me. What? The, the, I know it's crazy, yeah. right? I've been running into it so many years. I realize um, I think this is like a thing. This is a whole thing. You ever experienced that? Um, maybe unbeknownst to me. <laughs> I mean, how am I supposed to read someone's mind? Uh, and um, I just came here to ask this uh, dude. Uh, yeah. Unbeknownst to you. I mean, like I said, you've never seen anything like that before. I'm sure I've seen it. Yeah. Okay. You sure? I'm, I'm sure I've seen <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I've seen it. I've it's been, crazy, I've been in enough environments to where I'm sure I've seen something like that. Mm-hmm. It's it's kind of crazy to see you. You know what I mean? Some more. I didn't even get it yet. You didn't get it yet. Oh my god. But uh 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 yeah nah it kind of um it's kind of boggling. When I really want to maybe I need to interview one of them. I need to kind of just probe yeah. into their brain and so what's going on? Why do you want to do this? Are you sure they're gonna even? No, they're not gonna want to be. I'm gonna have to say, hey, listen, we're gonna blur you out. I'm gonna put a voice deep in the, 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 the uh, oh. gangland voice. Yeah. Deep yeah. So I just want to get fucked. I mean, <laughs> that is the craziest what? stuff. I don't got no man at home. I just need somebody to do that man. every few months. <laughs> what about what about? Okay, uh, now, of course, I'm sure there's males who do that. I mean, that's, that's a, every. That's, that's, every, every that's it, it, it's crazy. It's a, that much of women and it's that much of men. Isn't that kind of like, man, that's kind of, as a woman, well, just honestly, like, I remember Dave Chappelle made a, uh, he did, like, a stand-up on him, like, no matter what, as a woman, you have something that every nigga wants. Not, and every nigga may not want your uh, vaginal region. There's plenty of niggas that'll settle for but some, there's some pussy plen- that they don't want, though. You see what I'm saying? Plenty. That's, man, that's, that's a crazy thing to walk around, and especially if you're an attractive woman, mm-hmm. and just every nigga is staring at you, you know, I don't know. That's just you know, on my mind. Just given that, since there's guy, every nigga at the Ghost Club yeah, is let, trying let, to let's, let's, get let's, 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 let, no, let's, let's pose that to you now. No. <laughs> How do you feel about that power? What power? The power to know that you have something that there's a, a, a you could be in a room, you could be at your job, and you know that there is a high percentage of men that are in that room that if you wanted to say, Hey, let's go have sex right now. They're just doing it. Do you think about that? No. No? Why not? Why not? Why do I not? Think Why do you think? Not that you want to go do it. Not that you're like, but you know that you could do it. Um, I would say, I mean, I just walk around a lot of confidence that, like, walking past them, I don't care. Uh-huh. I don't pay them no mind. Um, But you know, though. Yeah, like if they call me like to the table, I I have I'll have like an attitude or whatever, cause I just know like even at the end of the day, they're still gonna want me to serve them. It doesn't matter how I act, it doesn't matter how I move. So now you know that you can be however you want because the ball's kind of in your court. Yeah. What if the shoe was on the opposite foot? What you mean? Like what if? <laughs> like like Super Bad, remember on the beginning of Super Bad? Yeah. He's like, what if girls just want to see our boners? What if we want? <laughs> <laughs> what that? What would that be like? I mean, you think girls don't want to see that? Um, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying if it was, if it <laughs> was, well, that's, okay, that's, you know, if it was completely flipped though, uh huh, how would that be? Like if the man was, it would be horrible because you know we're fucking everything. <laughs> that's the bad thing. And when I say we, I'm talking about men in general, not me personally. Because I certainly do not engage in, in such uh, activities. In such activities. <laughs> I do not. That is a fabrication of your imagination. But I already know what men would do. Mm-hmm. Be a lot more diseased. Be a, a lot more children. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that be a lot more diseased? Yeah. Why do you think? Because <laughs> niggas are just going to be, niggas. you know what I mean? Men are going to be out here going, wow, we already are. I have a question. Right. This isn't gonna be crazy. Go ahead, man. Now I remember a conversation I had. This um this girl was basically saying at her high school that she believed eighty percent of the boys or like sixty something. Sixty eight percent she said. Sixty eight percent of the boys at her high school were gay. Or and then even more were probably on the down low gay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen a nigga at the club with a girl one night and a guy another night? Yeah. Yes. God. Not at the same. Damn. Not like back to back though. 
Like, but but he was with a, a girl one time. Yeah, he um okay he. Yeah, he was oh. at uh um well it doesn't matter yeah. he was working at Encore and uh-huh. it was it was he wasn't working there long at all so he came in he came in with a female or whatever before um so you know nobody thought nothing of that but when he ended up not working there anymore he came back with a dude and the dude he came back with was always at Encore so mm-hmm. you know we're, I'm looking at him. And he's just like, oh, no, we're just here as friends. And I didn't ask any questions, Mm -hmm. of course. So I'm going to the bathroom. Of course, the gay dude follows me because he's like a regular. So he walks in the bathroom with me. And he was telling me, he was like, "Um, the dude that I'm with, the security, he took me out on a date. Oh. (laughs) So that's how I found out. Wow. And then he he was like, he's doing it. You know how he was like, he's doing too much. And he just was like in the bathroom talking. But. That's how I found out, so I walked out laughing. It's a scary ass place, bro. I'm telling you. Atlanta actually is. No, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. We was, we was out watching the fight on Saturday, and you remember that group that was like next to us? I told you the bad one. I, I couldn't tell. Like, it was a. I don't know if it was like some straight nigga, some gay nigga. If there was, I could not tell what was going on, cause it was niggas that was definitely gay in there, and then it was niggas that like. Mm. They looked, they didn't necessarily look it, but they, their mannerisms kind of was, it was giving like zest. <laughs> you know, it was giving zest. So like, you know what I'm saying? Or you seen it too? I was like, I was kind of tripping like, and they were, it was hell uh niggas in like, it was all men. And then the waitress and the hookah girl, they kept going in the section twerking. And I know usually shit like that be happening when it be gay niggas that like, more comfortable because I ain't see him doing it in nobody else's section. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So why would you feel comfortable go in the middle of like hella dudes and just start twerking? I'm talking about hella twerking. And they're not strippers? No. This is regular <laughs> these are this ain't even that type of spot. Go ahead the guy. <laughs> it is regular bottle of this but um yeah it's like ten niggas in a little section. They was deep deep as hell. They so were like, deep No and you already know they were crowding and I did I didn't have cat. She wasn't working there. <laughs> Cause I already, oh, she would have. She would have talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. uh, she would have already took care of the problem. See, I'm thinking these they niggas were, start crying. They, no, they no, came no. way they, later. Them, them niggas was like this. It no, got to a point niggas where niggas was like this. I was like, yo, get this nigga off me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, niggas back them niggas up like, yo, I even, my nigga. I just, I just bro, I wasn't even looking at that girl. I just seen there was hell of them niggas, no, bro, and it was close of them niggas, bro. And some of them niggas definitely seemed like they wasn't. Yeah. But some was on the fence and some definitely wasn't. It was really only it might have been two girls in that whole section. Two girls. Go ahead. Uh, well, you know what I might as well mention. Okay, hold on. <laughs> if I if I gotta cut something, I can cut some. Okay. You know I watched this whole we thing. Went, you remember going to that go get some tacos, right? Yesterday? No. We went to go get some tacos from this spot in Atlanta. Right? And then um we seen not too far from the taco spot. There was the the niggas. Oh yeah. And the scary part about nah, it is how it was regular. Nah, nah, them some of the niggas was a regular. It was a gay. It was a gay at night that night. Lord in Christ, I didn't know what was going on. I just had to play it cool. Nice. That's the only thing you had to play it cool. It's Atlanta. They're regular, so they're not looking like G. Like and they would shoot you. No they would shoot you in the face. <laughs> just got to play it cool. They're talking. They're blicked up, yeah, bro. What's going on, bro? You know they have me? a Glock nine <laughs> in their nigga. mom's jeans, nigga, and they will. They will pause, pull it out. Oh they will do God. it. Am I lying? They'll do it. They'll, they'll bang you. Pause. Damn. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Sam, bro. Listen, we didn't see them on camera. Do it. You, oh, that, no, yeah, let's just that go. last one was unintentional. All right, all right, all we're, right. We're, we're, we're moving. We're moving. So, um, yeah, that's crazy though. But yeah, that, that group that was like I didn't know what was going on over there. It was kind of frightening. Um, but I seen a couple of them was talking to girls though. But that don't even mean nothing. Like technically, said, like, he could have been saying like you know, girl, like that. I love that person. <laughs> 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 he could have been like, girl, I love that person. Like, where did you get your nails done? <laughs> I got one more kind. Club, bar, lounge, suspect? scenario, not suspect. Oh, scenario, okay. Have you ever seen somebody caught in the act of cheating at the club? That happens every day. Really? They get yes. caught in it, what be happening? Like, yes. They, um... What's, like, one funny one that comes to mind? I'm trying to think. Um, 
oh, if one just happened recently, well, it wasn't cheating, but um, it was a dude. We went to we went out to this place. I can't say the name of the spot because mm-hmm. they're not supposed to be open. But we went out to the spot or whatever, and we saw we um I was upstairs. It's like a I want to say it so bad, <laughs> but it's like a we're gonna say it's like a clubhouse. Okay. Whatever. So I was upstairs and um, my homegirl went downstairs to the bathroom to use the bathroom or whatever. I guess a dude tried to talk to her while she was in the bathroom. And uh, this lady or whatever, his girlfriend was literally in the next room. So when she came, she came to the bathroom. She didn't even give my friend a chance to talk. Swung. And started swinging and pulled her wig off. How would I know? I didn't know that was your nigga, bitch. And and the dude is standing there like, oh, that's not even my girlfriend. So at this point, everybody's like, (laughs) everybody's confused. And they just get the fight here. He's right? ill. Listen, bro. No, right fuck now. him. He's a piece of I'm shit. I'm ill, like man. No, no, you know, he's a piece of shit because listen, if you out with somebody and you trying to, you know what I'm saying, you got to move. You gotta tell you them. You can't disown no, but you, but if you, you on that type of time, if you on that type of time, I would rather you tell me than to go out and do it because then I, you got me looking crazy. Like that's she over here fighting. That's some nut shit. Like I, I, I did. I made an advance toward a young lady while I was out. Um, with somebody else before and she was well aware and you know what she played it so cool because what she did when I said something to her she looked back she made sure that eyes were not on her <laughs> and then she slick pulled out her phone and I said I, I like you I already can fuck with you oh. I see how you're moving oh. <laughs> it was cool but I, I liked I, I really respected her style right there you know what I mean? Because she, she wasn't trying to get caught in that situation, but she also wasn't trying to, like, not. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, salute her. Well, I saw <laughs> I actually saw a female at Vods standing on the couch. Her boyfriend was in front of the section, and I guess a girl was trying to get through to talk to her friend. She automatically thought the girl was trying to talk to the dude, so she poured water down the girl's back. So when the girl turned around, she kept dancing. So, you know, she poured the water and kept dancing. Like so when the girl, the yeah, when the girl turned around, she's looking like, trying to figure out where the water came from. Everybody in the club busts out laughing. That shit had me weak. Like, I'm sorry. Okay, now. Did I'm she gonna... figure it out, though? No. They just, <laughs> I'm just looking like, she looked I didn't like know what, just, I didn't know what to her. do. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to call no, security. Just, just I was like, oh, fuck it. Oh, my God. Like, I'm sorry, but I would have started swinging with everybody. Listen. But I'm remember, we, we went in, in good old encore yeah. before. And we remember, you know, that tall girl was trying to talk to the bot, and she was with her nigga. That was an encore. Yes, the... F- I don't know why I'm talking. That you was, you that, don't that was That was uh, that was an encore. We was in the corner. Brother, I mean, come on. You know my motherfucking memory. That was people. at Sweet Lounge. No, it was not. That is an entirely different scenario. Encore. What does encore look like? <laughs> I'm an encore. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Remember, yes, she was like, yes, she was yes. tall and she had a blonde wig. They had that section right there. Yeah, there was, there was it right was next to us. It was the one that you can go outdoor kind of. Yes. Okay. And, and then, and then, and then um, the box was like, ain't you in here with your nigga? And she was like, I got plenty, plenty of niggas. niggas. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. He was, he was tight, too. You could just tell and just wouldn't, but just wouldn't say, I'd have left. You see that TikTok? Man up! You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you letting this happen? What's wrong with this nigga, man? You gonna fit? How you gonna, bro? You can't. See that other time the nigga, that, the nigga capped and said it was his girl and it was not his girl. Man, check this out, bro. That that was at Sweet Land. I ain't going out like that, bro. Ever. Of life. course not. Not me. First off. I'm going to be honest with you. If a girl did that, she already knows you a whole ass nigga. She knows you ain't finna do shit about it no way. That's the only nigga something like that'll happen that's to. That blatant, that just right in front of you, that's nuts. So, going to that sweet lounge. So, we go to sweet lounge one day. We go up in there. I come up in there. The bro invited me. He in the session with these people. Like, he don't really know him. I don't really know him. But he, the dude invited him in his section. And he's just like, all right, cool. Like, he knows some of the same people. I guess, whatever. African dude, too. And um, he's like, whatever. So, they like, oh, I come up in there. They're like, yeah, bro, we sit here. So, it's him. And it's the girls. It, he's sitting up top and the girls sitting on bottom between his legs. I'm sitting next to, like, the girl. So the way they're sitting, I automatically assume like, okay, that's a couple, bro. There's no other thing. There's no other thing to think. Like they look like a couple. Yeah. Straight up. 
But I I do know that she's like pretty friendly. But I'm just like maybe she's just friendly. You know Southern what I'm saying? Hospitality. Southern hospitality. She's from Jacksonville. Southern hospitality. Maybe I don't know. She's friendly, but like not too much though. But like she's friendly. She's hella talkative in my face. Okay, cool. Whatever. Then it's this, it's this other girl there too. Remember the light skin one? Yeah, I remember. And um, so then they both start talking to me, whatever, whatever. So I end up, so they come in. So I end up getting up and moving away. Yeah. So then the bot end up next to him, next to the girl. And she's hella talking to him. He's like, I was like, isn't that your man? Like, what are you doing? And he's, she's like, she's like, oh, him? This is my friend. But then the nigga told me he's... Bro, but he's... He, he The nigga told me that was his wife. wife. Yes. <laughs> listen, because she... African nigga, yes, man. Cause, cause, From Cameroon. He's yes, a Cameroonian yeah, nigga. Yeah, Listen. He's like, no, nah, this is my wife. No, because some other two girls... This is what happened. Maybe he tried to say, like, you know, like, wife. Like, no, don't, don't, don't defend yeah, this. No. <laughs> basically, the nigga no, does not need to defend No, 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 listen, listen. He needs to get beat up. Listen. Across, uh, like, we, yeah. basically, two girls came on the other side of the section, and he had got up like he was going to say something, and then he stopped. He looked at me. <laughs> with my wife girl, so uh-huh. No, listen, because she was hella being extra familiar with me. That's why I started looking at him. He's like, don't mind her, bro. She's just, you know, she's, she's just friend. friendly. She's, she's just, just friendly. friendly. I said, okay, whatever. And then her other friend, I don't like her either, man. No, no. Because she's no, weird. Do you know she's on Clubhouse? She's big on Clubhouse. She's popping on Clubhouse. She's popping on Clubhouse? She's popping on Clubhouse. Popping on Clubhouse. And I followed her on Clubhouse. She's just following me back. So, wait, you follow me out of the club, oh, no, like, how dare trying you? to talk no, to no, me. No, no, you want to follow no, me no, out of no, the club? Bitch, fuck you. My fault. You trying to chase me out of the club. I try to get out of there. And they just Follow me well, the fuck no, out of the club. What and this is why, honestly, I don't like this. Because I think what happened is she tried to get with you, and then I ain't work, so then she tried to go get with me. <laughs> oh, that would never happen. That could, that would, no, that could never happen. No, ever because happen. she was just sitting there staring. She was just looking at me like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, man, I got hope. That and, I, I just want her to just go. Can no, she go away? Yeah, because, you know what she did, bro? She, um, I was, was like, yo, can you pass me a drink? She's like, yeah, I got you, bro. So, imagine a solo cup, bro. She poured it probably this high with alcohol and then like four splashes of damn cranberry juice. I, I, I looked at her, I talked to her, I said, are you trying to get me drunk? I said, are you trying to get me drunk? She was drunk? And she just looked back and said, oh, you could tell? I, oh, I, what, but, but what, aside, you, hold on, hold on. I'm going to do hold something on, to hold you. On, What's wrong with hold you? Hold on, that's another one in her 30s, professional. No, she's not professional. Hold on, hold on. I almost flipped her. No, 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 okay, what I mean by professional is she has a good corporate job. Oh, yeah. And she's out seeking a, a, a brief encounter. Yeah, I, I got a heat seeking. Because right. that was a night I had some heat seeking. You know? No, it wasn't. You didn't have the fucking heat seeker that night. That I, was, had, I didn't have hell, the heat seeker. I had the heat seeker that night. No, we didn't. <laughs> yes, no, I did. no, we didn't. Huh? Same, same night. No, it's a whole different time. Heat convolution. Yeah, no, it's a, no, it's a whole different time. He, he convolutes things. That's the, well, all, the, all the teenage weed smoking we did. But, uh, uh, yeah, so what ends up happening is we don't believe, because she goes, she tells, she tells the body, that's not my man. If you want to fuck me, you can fuck no, me. No, she did not. Yes, yes, she did. Yes, she did. Hey, listen, and this, mind you, this is a beautiful girl. Be, a beautiful, every, like, listen, everything about her. Yes, Great. She's, she's a good right? woman. And he's like, we don't believe her. We think they're like on some swinger shit or something. We're like, nah, they're on some swinger shit. So what did he say after all this? He's not saying anything. Yeah, that's because the mom is trying to like tell me like he's trying to get counsel from me, and he's telling me he's whispering in my ear what is going on. I said, what does this bitch just say? No, I ain't gonna lie though. Again. He he get no. Let me tell you something. He get the type of attention that that nigga gets, man. She's is, a maggot. Is, is insanity. And he's a maggot. So, no, but she's not with him though. What? So he's lying? Okay, first off, he he. This dude has a bad memory. No, I don't. No, listen, I don't. I'm gonna bring it home. Don't worry. So, so um, the nigga, he's telling me all kind of shit, the African nigga, he's like, I promoted this club, and then he's naming a million clubs he works for, and nigga, I'm going to have you come out on Tuesday, I'm sectioning on me, I mean, this nigga just giving me promises, nigga. Nah, he's in a cult, he's in a cult. Oh, I don't, no, I don't know what nah, he's into. That nigga's in a cult, No, no, bro. I don't know what he's into, I don't want any fucking. He's in a, he's in a deep satanic I, I want, I want, I want, <laughs> I want a nothing deep to do with sub Saharan <laughs> cult, nigga. In the middle of the. <laughs> so listen. So we get to a point where we're like, we got to get the fuck out of here. Because this shit got weird. No, seriously. So we're like, we're looking. I'm like, I just go. I, I just move on everybody. I'm just gone. And they're like, we just ordered food. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'm out of here. <laughs> right? So look, look. I walk. 
the girls get up yeah. and they follow yeah. him. Yeah, the water boys. The both, water boys. Both of them. So this is what happened. The water boys was outside. So I'm like, when the water boys come, I'm like, I give them some money. And I'm like, yeah, they'll give you some. They'll give you some money. So you, I got them caught up with the water boys so I can make my fucking escape. <laughs> then I just got on the phone and I just got out of here. I'm just like, okay, I'm going. I'm going. Because yeah, it was still the daytime. Because like it was a Sunday, so it was like. It, it was, was like early. seven. Right. It was early. Yeah. No, it was like seven. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So the sun was still up. I'm like, nigga, I'm fucking gone. But what ended up happening was somebody had her Instagram. The Bach did. So he ended up talking to her, and she told him, like, no, like, that really is not my boyfriend. Like, I just met him that day. He invited me to his section. That's it. Because remember, she came to Views that time. This nigga don't know. You remember she yes, came Yes, I remember views? she came to Views. Yeah. I remember she, that. You remember that? So she, you know... But um, so yeah, so he actually capped. That yeah, I'm gonna punch his. In, I'm gonna punch him in the mouth if I ever see him again. <laughs> I want to know who this guy is. He's an African. That's all I can tell you. No, 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 no. no, 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 no you know I'm what? Not, no, I'm not no, no, no. You know what's too. called? You might know him. That'll be crazy, man. Okay. Big dude. Big dude. Okay. So I can put. I'm not saying you can't punch him in the mouth. What I'm yeah, saying? I'm, punch I'm him trying in to be. Your re- leg move. I'm gonna punch him in his mouth. <laughs> Why? Because I don't like that guy, bro. <laughs> I don't like him. No, 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 no. He's a type, bro. He, he needs to get punched in his mouth, bro. I'm just saying. <laughs> I can't stand this. No, thing, bro. bro. What you mean? You, you can't act like you're just walking around socking people in the mouth. Well, I'm, I'm gonna walk around and sock him in the mouth. <laughs> Why? Nah, cause he needs some, bro. I'm gonna do what his dad. He was just done. trying to flex. You, th- he African. You don't think he got his ass whooped? Nah, bro. He got his ass whooped plenty. How disciplinarian are the traditional African households? Very, 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 no, very, very, very. Nah, he got plenty of work. That's not what, listen, bro. That, his mom and dad ain't raised him to do that type of I stuff. I feel like he public. probably was insecure in his car to hear his wife. He, he, that's nah, it. That's he wanted, that. I'm, listen, I'm insecure. Hassan, is, 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 is a woman a status symbol, yes or no? Sure. He, he wanted the status symbol. Yeah, he wanted to look she good. She was beautiful. That's, but you don't say wife. I, a lot of people say wife. Wife and is don't marry a, 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 like a figure no, of speech. No, but the way he was talking, like they no, are no, no. a family. No, no, no. no. That is his. He, the way he said wife, like <laughs> he probably this wanted is, to have a family. I want to throw hands with him. That's what I, mean. I want to see him in a head. You want to see him in a head of face? Nah, he's I, like, I don't like that he's going around lying on people like that. Just he's, I think he's in a cult, bro. I believe it wholeheartedly. He's in a cult. The guy, he's in a cult, bro. One what of them freaky. Colts. No, I don't know about that. I believe it. And I don't know any function he's hosting at or any place where he has hosted. I don't want to go there no more. Well, the Bowman. I'm just playing. Well, the Bowman. <laughs> you are so crazy. I'm just playing. I don't like it, bro. For real. That was not a good experience. Have you heard a situation like that? No. No, that's some crazy shit. Like, has any nigga ever called you no. his wife that you was it? <laughs> what do you do? And Has anything said, ever? I don't know. I never. Nobody's ever flexed and said that you were they girl. Or like you may have been on a date and the nigga like, no, nah, that's my girl. That's what I'm saying. Uh, dudes do that all the time though. Like, it happens. Not to not you. wife. I've never. Your yeah, wife is pretty wife. serious. Yeah. But niggas be like, oh, that's my girl. Mm-hmm. At least, and, for, and at, least know, at least at least while we're on a date, and you he just are only my girl. Invited, <laughs> I feel her though. She probably just only invited her to the section. He caught talking about wife. Like, no, that's a that's a hell of a jump. I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't well, cool, I think bro. we talked about that last week. Like, if a girl is, um, if a girl is, if you, uh, invite, if her you invite her to a section, is she allowed to talk to anybody else? Mm-hmm. As long as you make that, you know, communicate that you and let them know that. what you got going on. And you better not yeah. talk to nobody else. Like, you know, <laughs> if I give you that, if I give you that look, bro. I'm definitely if I give you that look like this, like. If we just what met, was that? What was that about, though? You was hold on. Well, I was, you was wait, spending. Wait, I didn't like. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait. I? If if we just met and you invited me out to the club, I'm not supposed to talk to anybody else. Well, I'm not saying that. Here's what I am saying, though. It, I, can I be transparent? <laughs> Here's what I am saying. I've been in. Um, you know, it could we could have been uh, Boz or Encore. Mm-hmm. You know, I've seen I've seen guys get a little. Friendly and aggressive with a particular waitress. And I, mm-hmm. boys, you, know, you know, I don't fucking like that. That thought has occurred in my head. What the fuck is this nigga? You know, fuck this nigga, man. <laughs> yeah, I got a problem with that. What the fuck is he doing, too. nigga? Yeah, I don't like. Mm-hmm. Well, only a particular waitress, not not the yeah. whole staff. Yeah. I really wasn't paying attention to Yeah, I got to check myself on that. What the fuck is this nigga doing, bro? Yeah. Got me fucked up. <laughs> what, what am I thinking? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I'll know. do something to you. you know? <laughs> 
Like, you know what? I'm scared of you. We going to the car. We don't go to the car. <laughs> or we leaving early. We, I'm going to the car. Nah, I'm playing. I, I ain't taking that far, but but the thought has definitely occurred. What the fuck this nigga think he's doing? He's getting a little too, you know what I mean? He's yeah, getting a little too yeah. touchy. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, well, hold on. Watch out, my nigga. I'm only thinking that because I think she's probably thinking that, though. Like, damn, nigga. You know what I'm saying? He was a little friendly. But, uh, you know, whatever. Nah, hypothetically, though, if that situation was to occur, if I, if, if I was to bring a woman out and she start. I would have to think based upon our relationship is this some BS kind of test. Like let's, let's see if this nigga, you know what I mean? It could be. In which case I'll just go talk to another woman. Why though? Are you are you doing the test? No. <laughs> that's no, that's Are you playing kid game? Go ahead. No, I'm saying that if that's someone's if someone's going to think that and this is all hypothetical. If someone's going to think that, that they can play game, a game is that a playground game? Well, I think yeah, it's a playground could, you, game. If you play stupid games you win stupid prizes. But I'm saying though, why would you play the same playground game? Well, because they're trying to mess with me, and so I just I, th- I can. Why don't, why why don't you just instead of playing a game back, why don't you just say, "Hey, I didn't like that. It made me feel some type of way." When How you would you talk well, to the next? Well, because that's a little. Well, that's a little I want to be an adult here. <laughs> I just want to say, "Hey, look." Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. If I, that, I didn't I like how you was talking to dude. It, it made me feel uncomfortable. I feel like you out with me. Well, you should be out with me. Well, um, well, you just gonna say that's that's because it, 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 But here's why you asked the question. It's a mature thing. No, it's not. It's communication. I'm gonna use one curse word. She's um, because I feel like a bitch. No, 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 no. But, you know, but, but but listen, no, no, but listen. Like she said, like I gotta ask no, you. no, 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 no. Not I gotta ask you, but like she said though, what she said was important. You should have said that before we came here. You're right. So for future reference, yeah, when I invite you to play games out next time, <laughs> stay in your pocket. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just adding some community. Is pocket inferred? So pocket is not inferred. It has to be outspoken. I want to make sure that that's clear. Well, I feel like there's some nonverbal pocket conf- confirmation. Is that a problem right it's there? It's a nuance. It's a nuance. It is. I want to hear it. It's nonverbal. That was really great. But here's what I'm saying though. Like what do you what do you mean it's inferred? It's nonverbal. At what point is it nonverbal? We're casually friends yeah. and you're invited out, it's not nonverbal. But if if I called you baby, is it now nonverbal? That's all I'm trying to understand. Because I, I might I can't, throw can't, terms like that loosely sometimes. I can't sometime. be called certain words. To, what words can't you be called? Love. If you're called love, do you feel like that woman only needs to be with you? <laughs> Well, I feel like in her eyes, she should only want to be with me. Do you feel like if you go, if you invited her out, that if she talked to anybody else, it would be cheating? It's not cheating. It just <laughs> but close to it. No. On the path? It just reveal who your character. What, what, what is the character? But what if she's just talking to people? So, Because you got to understand something. I understand that. I the, would just say what? Hold on, hold on. I'll just say four words to her. Li- no, listen, listen. Wait, 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 wait. Before you say those four words. Right, she- <laughs> my, my thing is this though, right? Sometimes you may get an initial thought in your head. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck this. Yeah, yeah. Or something. Yeah. Like, you gotta. Yeah, yeah. Of course, you don't think you, don't you gotta mature this, you don't your way out of that you, you and go. The, yeah, you no, say the second. Thought. It may not. That's yeah, of you, you're looking too deep. You're, you're being a little. It's really a, maybe a security issue. No. Um. If you're secure, it don't even matter. I mean, at the end of the day, because at the end of the day, she's are all at the end of the day she's fucking with you, right? These are all hypothetical. Maybe something like this could never <laughs> happen to, to you. Me, are you sure? One hundred percent sure. What? How are you so sure? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. If in my situation that happened, oh nigga getting dropped. One hundred. What do you mean in your situation? If I catch my wife talking, we're to not me, talking about your wife. We're talking about a saying? girl you invited okay. out, my nigga. Well, that's what I'm saying. In my that's situation. the context, bro. That's what I'm saying. The context is not well, nobody's just, wife. Of course, somebody. That's an entirely yeah. different situation. Okay. Um, I'm talking about just a young hypothetical. Lady that I you're as cat loves to say. Vibing with. Vibing. Okay. Um, I don't know, man. You know, it, it's a case-by-case basis, not to be too ambiguous. But um, depending on how long, I guess, I've known the person and we've been communicating on this vibing basis, it, it would I would see it as a little disrespectful. First time vibe. Oh, nigga, I don't know you. That's what I'm saying. You but you invited her, though. You, you don't feel ownership over her because you invited her. That's retarded. Okay. All right. I'm just making sure because you know niggas be feeling ownership. Yeah. It, it 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 all depends. 
it all, 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 everything depends, I think. It there's, is. There's no one way to answer it because every situation is different. Again, like I was talking about, you might have a girl you don't really, you're not really tripping about, but then she thinks that she's got to be in this. No, in this I, I just feel like go, if go there's ahead, a certain ahead. word or thing that's said to me in this hypothetical situation, that that's, um, there should be but certain, lock, c- lock on, c- lock certain, on me. Certain, it's, certain lock people are, tunnel vision on c- this certain nigga Certain people here. very loosely throw around terms of endearment, though. I can't, don't right, do that. Go ahead. Me. But it also depends on the environment. If you want to vibe, if you want to vibe with a girl or you want to vibe with a dude, you shouldn't go to the club because that's like a social environment. Uh-huh. You should go talk. get dinner, and if you want to talk, you can talk there. I disagree. How do you disagree? I have heard that there have been multi-million dollar deals, uh, business meetings that have taken place at a place like Magic City. Yeah, it's fine. What I'm saying is Atlanta, if Georgia, you Atlanta. want to vibe with somebody for real, yeah. I'm saying on the first day. No, I agree. They with they you. know they know each other for different. That's like. not. I would never take a woman out to a club as a first date. Anything in closing? Yeah. Um, massage. <laughs> oh, you. What about you? Mm. No, I, I'm not closing. I'm just. Are you? Man. Are you got? Are you guys? Both of you guys are on a health kick right now. Yeah. I'm trying to get back in shape. I think it'll be good for my you, mental health. You, you're trying to get right it, for, it's a, good for for a mental trip, health, isn't it? Yep. After a workout, <laughs> after exercise, <coughs> don't you feel better mentally? No, actually. Seriously, you. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, well, especially when you, if you exercise in the morning, like you, yeah, like, you rest be, your like, day, up, like yeah. for real, for real, like your energy's up. My mental health is fucked. Yeah, but I'm not working out. You know, I'm, I'm just on a diet. diet. I need to run. Mm-mm. Running never stops. Don't you want to hit your feet? Mm-mm. I'm just lazy. Yeah, I'm lazy. Yeah. lazy. Fuck that. Let's run. Let's, let's Nishar's, follow, you know what? Nishar's calling next, me work, every day. I work too much. Nishar's calling me podcast. every day telling me, let's go to the, go to the gym. gym. I'm not going, we're not going to the gym. Let's go on a podcast. Job. That's not let's happening. Let's go on a job. It's not a podcast. We sit and talk. That's what a podcast is. Not fucking running and Well, it can, it can be a We segment. can do like a, some, like a segment or something. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, Have somebody yeah. record us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not fucking going. There's not a chance in hell. I just can't do it. But my DNA analysis did say that I have the sprinter gene. I'll try to start going to the mountain. God. Oh. Damn. Turn oh. around and go home. You're done here. <laughs> oh my. Now you came with the red coat. Yeah, I know already. Like, wait, they're here. You drove with that? Bye. <laughs> Subscribe to... Uh, you? you Don't go to hell. Don't go to hell. Don't go to hell. Go to hell. Follow me, unpredictable underscore K-A-T-T. Yeah, cool. Bye. Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>